Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup, Joe, and let's get started, shall we? Hello, uh, now we're going to continue with our coffee mug um, videos, mini videos. Uh, in this video, I am actually going to demonstrate uh, how we can uh, move the uh, some inventory between locations. Um, I'm going to take a look at my coffee mug, see how we're doing. Uh, if I go into the items, uh, take a look at my item list uh, to find the coffee mug. So I can just filter on that, like such. And I can go ahead and see my inventory availability by location. If I look at this uh, particular screen, it tells me that I have uh, 985 pieces in blue. It says projected available balance because it actually is taking into account my inventory in hand, uh, purchasers arriving in um, by the day today and sales orders going out um, now however I don't have any of those I only have inventory on hand and that's included in this number so it's just going to show 985 now what I want to do is move some of this inventory across town into another location that we have which is the red warehouse um, what we're going to do is actually move that with our own truck um, that comes to pick up uh, 200 coffee mugs and I'm gonna put that on the truck and actually get that over to the red warehouse. Now how do I do that? In order to do that we're gonna use a transfer order. So I'm gonna go here and go search for my transfer orders. Here they are. I got a bunch of them already created. I'm going to create a new one. Uh, so I hit new transfer order. Enter. And it asks me, okay, from what location do you want to transfer from? I want to transfer from the blue location because I have everything there. Where do you want to put it? To the red location. And what is my in transit location? It's either outsourced logistics or own logistics. I'm going to use own logistics because this is our own truck. I could have used outsourced logistics if we hired the truck to do this. I could have also created an in-transit location um, like uh, a boat or a rail or something like that um, to signify other means of tra transport. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the coffee mug on here. I said I wanted to move 200. And then it tells me, okay, I have 200 to ship and I have nothing to receive. Uh, what this means is uh, if I ship this, it will actually move from the blue location to own logistics onto the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Post. It asks me, do you want to ship or receive? I have nothing to receive since I haven't shipped anything into my truck. So I'll just ship. And then it goes ahead and posts. Now my inventory is no longer in the blue location, it's in the own logistics location. And it has moved from quantity to ship to quantity shipped. And now we have 200 to receive. Now let's go ahead 
and receive this. So I post again. And now it receives. The order is complete. And if I take a look at my inventory, go back to the item. Here's my coffee mug. If I look at the uh, item availability by location, I can see now that I have 785 in the blue warehouse and 200 in the warehouse, red warehouse. I have effectively moved 200 pieces from blue to red via a transfer order that actually moved the inventory to a truck and then from the truck to the red warehouse. And that's it.